Bill. <laughs> We're going to talk about um, high capacity nickel metal hydride batteries. Here we have uh, one that has uh, claims 11,000 milliamp hours, which is 11 amps for one hour. And here's uh, another type of battery. It's a uh, um, SAFT, uh, it's supposed to be 850 milliamp hour. And um, anyway, when you first get these batteries, they are not charged. And I suggest that you get a nickel cadmium or nickel metal hydride battery charger because uh, charging them wrong can wreck them or make them not get charged at all. And a new nickel metal hydride battery comes not charged. So you um, want to put them in the charger and these ones in this charger, it took more like 36 hours before they reached full capacity. You know, they say 16 hours on a charger is good, but these ones it took longer yet, and uh, before they reached their full capacity. Now you can see here is uh, what happens if you take these uh, batteries, these brand new batteries. You look like this here. You look, you go like this. Put it on the amp. I know. Excuse me, the voltmeter, and sure enough, whoopsie, excuse me, there you go. Sure enough, it will show, it will show, oh, only 0.7. I thought for sure it would have showed 14, 1.4. So yeah, it shows 1.2, but they're totally uncharged. And even if it shows 1.2, then you go over to the amps, and then you take this here one that I just was looking at, come on, and you do a short test just for a little bit. You take uh, through this, uh, that's an amp meter roll, and then you go like this here, and you look at it, and it really, it does nothing. It's totally dead. So then, you stick these here batteries in the charger, and like I said, you wait 36 hours, which I did with this one. And then after I charged this one, then I got it full charged, and then I took that and ran it in the amp tester, like this here. And you see, there I'm getting like 39, oh, oh, and it even gets hot, 40 amps. You gotta kind of be careful here. And here's another thing you can watch I'd like to show you with these batteries. You take some wire like this, watch how darn strong that many amps in this little battery is. Look at that, cherry red hot. It just melts the wire, man, like nothing. Now, as you can see, I was getting 40 amps out of that. So now let's go back here and look at this. Uh, this is this the alkaline battery, a ready household uh, battery right here. And you get 1.5 volts, which was more than that one. But then you take it and you switch the gauge over here to um, to the amps. So now we're on DC. We got a DC amp meter going here, and then we'll hook up this alkaline battery. And first of all, it doesn't make anything cherry red hot, and the most it gets is three three amps. So you can see right there that the nickel metal hydride on uh, peak momentary output is over 10 times as much as your regular house battery. So then, let's go back through this again. So um, I charged them in here for quite a long time, like three days. 
So I got up to the, um, what I figure is probably the peak output of these batteries. And then I took and I hooked this red one up here the same way that I did this here. That's a dead battery, but it's just to show you faster that I got it hooked up through here so that you can get the amp reading and then here this that's a resistance I put on it to keep it from getting too high because um, you know 10 amps is pretty high over the long time for these batteries and if you did not have a resistance and you just did what I did momentarily when I just jumpered it through there for a short time eventually it would start on fire so uh, you have to slow it down with a resistance bank when you're draining it. So I drain that battery and then I recharged it for a while on this setup I got over here. And then uh, after I did that recharge, then I again took and um, hooked this one up to the amp meter and Thing, 33, it went up to 33 amps, and you see it smoking, it's got plenty of power. So this battery was like just about completely dead. I had it hooked up to this for an hour, and it started out at like 10, 11 amps, and then by the end of the hour, it was still three or four amps. Now you got this here battery over here. This one, I had bought some used batteries, and some of them are good, and some of them aren't so good. And this one, when I initially tested it, with uh, um, by shorting it out momentarily just to get it, its output in amps that um, it wasn't really doing very very much so uh, now we're doing it again and you'll see even when I'm charging it here it's only accepting uh, 0.6 amps at 1.5 volts now we'll take a better one of these batteries to show you the difference. You take this battery here, That's that was at 0.5. If I shorted that one out momentarily, that's all I was getting is 4.5 amps. And then that tells you that it's not so good right there. And then also you've seen it was 0.3 or something like that on there. Now this one isn't the best battery in the world, but it's still it's doing 16 amps when I shorted it out. And now when you put it on here, you can see that it's getting like way over double so it's got less resistance and it's able to pick up some amps into charge see so that one you know like you, you can see that one's getting eight six at 1.5 volts and then this one is getting 0.3 so that's like it's over 10 times as much amps at the same voltage so the resistance in this battery is so much that it can't take a charge and then if you go over here to the amps and try and uh, get something out of it it's got see I'm, I'm almost getting one amp out of it after charging it like all day and that's it and then um, uh, if you take this the other one. Oh, okay. What I really want to say is that now I'm going to switch over to volts. And even if, even if that battery has no output, it can't put out any, hardly any amps, like it's shot. But then you show the voltage here. You look at the voltage, and it's got 1.4 volts and it just won't take a charge so that means it, the turn internal resistance in it is so great that you can't really do anything with it it's no good and um, that is how to test batteries is uh, you get a, a variable power supply like this a bench supply they call it and then you can um, charge them individually at different voltages and then you get your um, meter that's where you can do volts volts and 
DC volts and AC or DC amps. And that's the thing you can that you have to know because if you just take a battery and just test its voltage or charge it and then just test its voltage, you do not know if you have a good battery. Because like look this battery's shot and uh, I take the voltage of it and I go like this and I got 1.4 then I go like this over here to the amps and I get like maybe you know it's actually doing like two amps now after I was charging it and putzing with it but two amps is nothing compared to that look at here we'll take this here one one of the good ones that I got used from the guy I'm making this video for that one's got 63 and so then I go like this with bangle there's like 50 60 amps coming on there right away so the voltage and it has the same volts too look at this the same volts 1.4 probably it might even have 1.3 so here you go like this here and you uh, give it a little hit on here yeah well we got 1.4 volts but this battery has plenty of power that's a good battery to do 63 amps momentarily like for a second or less just in order to test the maximum output of the battery it doesn't hurt it and that's the only way you can really find out if the battery is good or not because if you don't do that you can't tell the difference between a dead battery like this one and a and a good battery like this one so that is what you do to test your batteries and for I think his name is Tim the guy that I bought these batteries off of I'm gonna quick go through here and I'm saying that all these are less than 10 and some of them down to one and like 0.5 and I got a 0.4 there and then there's up to a 16 right here and uh, there's some of them here that are uh, 63, 52, 53, 40. These ones are acceptable, even down to 21, I would accept them. But, and these are in the 12 and uh, you know, low 10s and 9s. And so what I'm saying is out of the batteries that you sold me, out of 30 of them, there's 30 of them here, and there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, maybe ten that I would accept out of thirty. And the rest of them I would like to send back or get a refund or whatever you want to do. So anyway, that is uh, what I got on uh, charging and testing high capacity nickel metal hydride batteries. So have a good day.